Hi, my dearest family. Today we are going to be talking about Mercury retrograde because the second Mercury retrograde is about to start. And it's going to be covering two signs this time around. So it's going to start in Virgo and then ends in Leo. So what is actually a Mercury retrograde? A retrograde occurs when a planet appears to be moving backwards from our perspective on Earth. But actually, it is not moving anywhere backwards. It's just kind of like an optical illusion, let's call it that way. Mercury goes retrograde three or four times a year. And it always, every single year, it happens in the same element. So this year, the prominent element is actually the Earth element. <clears throat> so I have made a video about Mercury retrograde before. I would like to be an advocate about Mercury retrograde who is going to tell you that, oh, do not sign contracts and all those type of crap. And sorry, I have to call it crap because this is really not the case. I think it burned into our subconscious by, you know, this fear mongering type of things about Mercury that we shouldn't be signing a contract, don't buy electronics and all those type of things. Mercury retrograde is really special. What's special about it, that wherever Mercury goes retrograde, and this time around, around it's going to be happening around four degree of Virgo, 11th month before, that's when Mercury went direct, plus minus two degree. So actually it's connecting an 11 month cycle. What I need you to do is, I would like you to think back what was going on last year in September, and this is the way how you're going to figure out what you might be expecting from this Mercury retrograde. If you did buy an electronic device 11 months before, there is a possibility that some electronic devices will break down this time around as well. But if, for example, you, you know, started a job, it might come to an end, for example, because this is a connection that 11 months connects to area of your life. And because it happens always in the same element, if you just think about the second, sixth, and the 10th house, which are all connected to work, and all of them are earth houses. So that's the reason why actually it connects the same area of life. So when it comes to Mercury retrograde, there is a shadow period, and there is a so-called storm period as well. The shadow period is when Mercury hits that point in the zodiacal circle where, where it will de turn direct and end when it hits the point in the zodiac where it will turn retrograde. So this is what we need to know about. Oh, and then the storm period would be when Mercury is moving at its slowest. And the slowest movement of Mercury is approximately about uh, 40 minutes per day. And Mercury can go as fast as two degree. Okay, so let's give you the dates of Mercury retrograde, shadow periods, endings, beginnings, entry, and so on. So the retrograde is gonna start on 5th of August in all major time zone. And it's going to be ending on 28th of August or 29th, depending where you are. As I said, it starts in Virgo and then it's gonna go back into the sign of Leo. And that's going to be happening on the 14th of August. But the shadow period started July 16th and it lasts until September 11th. So basically we've got the shadow period between July 16th to August 5th. And then we've got it from the 29th of August until September 11th. And we're gonna have these more of a storm period. Remember when Mercury goes really slowly. And that's from July 27th till 13th of August. And then from August 23rd until September 2nd. 
Okay. So because it starts in Virgo and then it goes back into Leo, so it's going to be activating two houses in your chart. For example, it's going to be the seventh and the sixth house in my case. Rather than thinking that, oh, at one point I'm going to be focusing on relationship and then the next moment I'm going to be focusing on lifestyle, try to read the two houses together. So health and relationship, how to form a healthy relationship, for example, or we started a relationship and then we start analyzing the relationship. So what I recommend doing as a practical piece of uh, tip here that start with the house where it starts. So in my case, it starts with the seventh house, which is the house of relationship. And then try to add the other house in the reflection of relationship. And then you're gonna be able to understand your Mercury retrograde a little bit better. But as usual, I will be breaking this down to all set 12 signs. So if you are interested, you might want to be joining my YouTube membership. You press the join button, you pay a little bit of a fee, and then I, I will give you 10 additional videos a month. Okay. So it is starting at four degree of uh, Virgo. And... Uh, which is very much an analytic sign, which would be more about that we start, obviously Mercury is a really strong in this sign because it's in rulership. So we start analyzing things. Maybe we start analyzing our own life. We might look at uh, our healthy connections, or maybe we are trying to change our health for the better. With Virgo, we might have a lot of stress and frustration in our life. So the reason why it is connecting with, I mean, Virgo and Leo, because Leo wants to have fun and Virgo feels stressed out, let's say because of work and so forth, and it takes a toll on the physical body. So what we need to learn during this uh, Mercury retrograde period to let go of the frustration and the stressful events in our life and to learn to be fun, to be reconnecting with our inner child a little bit. Maybe we have had too much work going on and then we feel burned out. And then this Mercury retrograde would like us to go back to those moments when we had fun, when we remember, remember going to the theater or going on holiday, and how relaxed we felt and so forth. And we might want to be repeating all of those. Yes, at the beginning, maybe we need to be working extremely hard because we want to be finishing off a project. Maybe actually what happened was that you went on holiday, Leo, and um, you just left some work behind, Virgo, and now you have to pick it up and you have to be rushing and you have to be completing uh, because uh, things started piling up. But you might just be working extremely hard because you know that you've got a holiday coming up and you want to be actually enjoying those moments rather than, let's say, be on the phone and so forth. But Virgo can indicate, for example, that you used to work together with someone and then we're going to go out with them. We catch up on, you know, on life a little bit. We speak about what happened, how much fun we used to have in the previous workplace and all those type of things. But with Virgo, we also organize things as well. So maybe we're going to be organizing the children's uh, room, the playground, uh, or we might want to be looking at organizing our entertainment cupboard, where the CDs are, and so forth. We can do all those type of things. Remember, Virgo is about routine as well. So doing routines that we actually enjoy a lot. So it could be a health routine. For example, you know what? I don't like going to the gym, but I like uh, playing ping pong table tennis and all those type of stuff. So that's the way how I'm going to be doing certain type of sport. Also with Virgo, we want to improve something. So how to improve your romantic connections, how to improve your confidence, Leo, as in confidence, 
how to improve your self-expression as in how can I express my needs and wants better to others? And maybe we need to be able to improve on those. With Virgo, it's very important that we start scheduling things. So we schedule fun time. We schedule um, certain type of entertainment, self-entertainment. We schedule maybe some childish moment. We give time for ourselves to have fun. This is a major message with this Mercury retrograde. So as I said, Mercury goes back into the sign of Leo around the 14th of August. And this is um, a fire sign. So yes, of course, this Mercury is going to be a new, you know, it was very attentive in the sign of Virgo. And then now it's more uh, focused on doing things that causes us, gives us pleasure. So maybe we become aware of our dating style a little bit more. Maybe we start focusing a little bit more on self-employment as well. Because with Leo, we, that's the king of the jungle. So often that's the head of the state, head of the company and so forth. And also maybe you start reconnecting with someone that you used to have fun with whether it's a friend, a co-worker, or possibly a romantic endeavor as well. I want everyone to have loads of fun this time around, to let your hair down a little bit, to have a, you know, a restaurant moment, a glass of wine, or you go to a concert. All these type of things are very good with this Mercury in Leo. Now, Let's look at some of the, uh, oh, uh, uh, sorry, one other thing is, obviously because Virgo is about work and Leo is about fun. So we need to be able to, you know, as I said, schedule some fun time for you. It doesn't mean that you are going to be leaving your responsibilities behind. But what it reminds you of is the importance of, of striking a balance. And that's going to be extremely important here. So if you have got certain type of, I don't know, hobbies, make sure that you have got an hour, half an hour, something like that to schedule. Because Leo is about the hard desire. So what warms up your soul? And this is an important statement as well, because... On the day when Mercury goes retrograde, actually Moon moves into the sign of uh, Virgo as well. And uh, obviously uh, that's, that's a highlight because the Moon is very much about uh, happiness, emotional well-being. So the next uh, 28 days, I would say that this is going to be extremely crucial that we find time for ourselves to be happy, you know. Now, let's look at some important matters here because, um, because we're going to have certain type of um, important degrees to talk about. So first of all, it starts on four degree and Mercury goes back into 21 degree. So do you have any planet on four degree or 21 degree in your chart? Because that planet becomes quite supercharged in the next couple of months. Um, okay, some important dates. So first, or some impo important aspect, actually. So when Mercury goes retrograde, actually, it already makes a conjunction to Venus. They are four degree apart. Very interesting that Venus is on zero degree of Virgo, so sitting on Regulus. And uh, that makes me think that a world leader health is going to be quite highlighted here. But the exact conjunction between Venus and Mercury is going to be happening on 7th of August. And by the way, it's going to be happening on 3 degree. 
And this is the love of communication, the love of talking about work, for example. This is about understanding other people's needs. This is about knowing how to communicate pleasantly, how to talk, let's say, to co-workers, employees, maybe in a different way so that they do a better job. Um, Virgo is about efficiency, effectivity. So, you know, but how can I prompt them to work more uh, efficiently? And of course, this could indicate that you're going to be talking to someone you used to love, maybe love working with, or you had some romantic connections too. <clears throat> maybe it's going to be that an old co-worker is coming back and uh, maybe you guys need to be making a decision about something, uh, let's say with co-workers also. But maybe also you start thinking about that, you know what, it's not all about work. I need to do something for myself as well. Then um, Mercury goes into, back in Leo, as I said, on the 13th, and then it's going to be on 29 degree on the 14th and 15th of August and then straight away it starts making a square to Uranus. The exact square is happening by the way on the 18th of August and you know what it can kind of like you can crave for loads of fun during that period because Uranus is a little bit more on the intense side it electrifies things so if, let's say, fun is on your mind, Mercury, as in mind, Leo, as in fun, then Uranus is craving for the adrenaline rush. Uh, adrenaline rush. And then you might decide, you know what, I need to jump out of a plane and so forth. So you can become a little bit reckless. You might not think uh, things through. And then you might make certain type of decisions that you regret later on. So this Mercury would be an indication to you that you need to slow your mind down a little bit. It's a little bit impulsive this time around. And of course, because Mercury is in Leo and it's thinking about, you know, the heart desire. So we get very excited with Uranus about an opportunity that is coming up and it's warming my heart up. And I just want to go with it. These are fixed signs, so there is definitely doubt here whether I should jump or not, but Uranus is really pushing it. Now, the, one of the peak periods of Mercury retrograde is always a conjunction to the sun, of course. And the reason being is because that just represents the middle season of the retrograde period. And that is happening on the 19th of August, on 26 degree of uh, Leo. So this is an energy that you are going to be feeling all for about nine weeks, especially if you have got any planet on 26 degree of the fixed signs. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. We call this as an inferior conjunction. And uh, this is, uh, I wouldn't necessarily interpret um, the Mercury-Sun conjunction because it's just an indication that it's the middle of the season of the retrograde and then from that date onwards it's extremely active for about eight, nine weeks for you. Uh, and it's just highlighting the Leo cusp for you quite significantly. Um, so these are the most important dates that I wanted to share. So, um, yeah, I think I shared everything that you need to be knowing now about this uh, uh, Mercury retrograde. I hope it helps. I made a video about Armour and Mars, and they do have got quite a wide square to this uh, Mercury, but it's a separating square. This could indicate to me that there is a conversation that you need to be making with your loved ones. Uh, probably there has been certain type of conversations uh, made already 
and it needs to be kind of altered and fixed a little bit, maybe it hasn't gone the way you wanted it to go. Anyway, have a lovely weekend, everyone, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.